Hi everyone, Angela here. Do you have a pair of pants or shorts that's in perfect condition, but there's just a hole at the bottom of the pocket? The fabric's all thinned out by storing keys or change or just general wear and tear. In this video, I'll show you how I easily replace the bottom portion of this pocket with some heavier cotton. We'll just replace this bottom section of the pocket. First, we'll mark out the section that we want to replace so that we get rid of all of the thinned out fabric. And then cut out both layers along that line. Now, I should have done this before I cut it out. We need to mark some notches along both sides so that we know that this is the edge that needs to be sewn back together. One notch for the top and two notches for the bottom. With your two pieces of fabric together, place the cutout pocket piece onto it so that the outer edge is parallel to the outer edge of the fabric, and then pin it down in place. You can see on the inside that the original seam allowance is about a quarter of an inch wide. Next, use a see-through ruler with all the grid lines on it and a marking pen to draw a quarter inch seam allowance around the outer edge. For the inner edge, we need to draw a half inch seam allowance. You can find links for all the tools I use in the description below. Now for the side of the pocket that's still on the shorts, we need seam allowance for this edge as well. Since we can't attach it there, we'll have to draw another half inch seam allowance to the new piece. Extend the marks for the notches to the edge of this new seam and then cut out your new pocket bottom. And now cut out all of the notches about an eighth of an inch in. Remove the pins and the old piece. We'll sew a French seam along this edge on the outside of the pocket and not on the inside. When your hand is inside the pocket, you don't want to be feeling the edge of a seam. We'll pin the wrong sides together for both sides. Pin along both sides of the pockets matching your notches and the edges of your seams. And then on the existing pocket, we want to open up about an inch and a half at each end. Next, we'll sew each seam just a little bit less than quarter of an inch. Back tack at the start and finish of your seam. Now we need to cut little notches all along those seams. Cut the notches so they're about halfway into the seam, spaced about half an inch apart. Now open up your fabric and pinch that seam so that it's right in the center. This time we'll stitch the seam slightly more than quarter of an inch. Back tack at the start and finish and keep pinching that seam and adjusting it so that it's in the center while you sew. Now if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell and leave a comment below. Next open up your fabric and turn that seam so that it's facing down towards the bottom. Holding your fabric taut, edge stitch along the fold of that fabric and back tack at the start and finish. And then just repeat for the other side. 
Now trim all the sides so all the edges are smooth and straight. Now because I'm stitching in white, I'll just remove the rest of the original top stitching from the top and bottom of the pocket. This way it'll look nicer with just one color along the seam. We're also going to sew a French seam along the bottom, so we need to sew the wrong sides together first. Pull the pocket out from the front side opening and just straighten out the original seam allowance. Pin all around the pocket if you need to. And then stitch all around with a seam allowance that's just slightly less than quarter of an inch. When you're done, trim off any threads and little bits of fabric that are sticking out. Push your pocket through so it's right sides together again. Pull out your seam so it's in the center and then finish off the pocket by stitching slightly more than quarter of an inch all around the bottom. Be sure to back tack at the start and finish. And there you have it, a brand new pocket bottom that's nice and strong. I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Again, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, happy sewing. <laughs>